Hello dear traders, today is the 24th of June. You're watching Financial News on Insta TV with me, Anna Kasatkina. The stunning vote results in the UK's referendum pushed global financial markets into crisis mode. Experts witnessed such a nosedive in 2008. In the final count, 51.83% of the Britons chose to leave the European Union. The Brexit vote aroused grave doubts about further political stability and integrity of European bloc. Fears triggered high demand for safe haven assets like the Japanese yen, which soared against the US dollar. The yen touched the psychological level of 100 points and even tested 99 points level. However, in the European pre-market, the dollar-yen pair made corrections as traders booked profits selling the pair. Now, investors are absorbing the historical vote in the UK and its aftermath. After the initial shock, market participants realized that the Brexit vote will initiate a complicated exit procedure with the European Union that will take at least five years. However, traders are voicing concern that the split stance is looming over the European Union. Meanwhile, populist leaders in some European countries have cheered the historical decision of the Britons and demanded their own referendums to leave. So, Eurosceptic politicians in Spain, France, Italy and the Netherlands Netherlands are calling for exit referendums. The Leave vote forced the resignation of the UK Prime Minister David Cameron. On the dramatic day in Great Britain, the pound sterling plummeted over 10% against the US dollar to levels last seen in 1985, its biggest one-day fall in history. The pound-dollar pair tumbled to 1.33 from 1.50. In the European trade, the cable opened with correction to the level of 1.38. Meanwhile, the Bank of England assured markets that it's ready to support the British economy. Governor McCartney stated the central bank is considering extra measures to ensure financial stability of the country. Besides, the regulator is ready to allocate £250 billion for support. And this was Financial News on Insta TV. See you back later. Bye.